what is the proof Muslims they have that Muhammad is the final prophet? And this is a question was given to uh, Shabir Ali, who is a very powerful in knowledge, by the way. I mean, he is so strong. Look at his beard. You know, you can tell. Those kind of beard, they don't grow unless you fertilize them with knowledge, not with manure. So, you know, what the proof do Muslims have that Muhammad is a final prophet? But shouldn't first you tell us how, what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet anyway? If you, if you watch the answers of Muslims about what they claim, you will die laughing. They will say, the prophet said in the Quran that Allah said to him that you are a prophet. Have you ever heard of something like this? So yesterday I went to bed and I heard the fly in my, in mosquito saying in my ears, ZB, you are a prophet. So he said that Allah said to him, and Allah never spoke to him, by the way. The one who spoke to him supposedly is a guy, his name is Jibreel. And as usual, there is no witnesses. And the funny thing about Muhammadan, uh, in case of fornication, they need four witnesses. And the four witnesses, they have to see, excuse my language, as you know, I am an Arab, and we are, you know, we speak in a rude way, as you know. So in the case of fornication, you need to see the penis of the man going in and out. And four people have to see it, four additional to the husband, which means the husband is number five. So we need five people, or four at least, strangers, to see the penis going in and going out to prove fornication. How in the world we did not see Gabriel going in and out, not even once? Are we listening? How come in the case of fornication, you need four witnesses, and they have to see the penis going in as it goes inside the inkwell, as a pen going inside the inkwell? And not to mention that this is impossible. Imagine you go to the bedroom, you find your wife with the neighbor, you know, and now you like, hey, let me, hold on, don't move, okay? I'm going to call four friends. Please don't move, okay? Keep going, keep going, keep going. And, uh, okay, hello, alhamdulillah, Sheikh uh, Uthman, uh, can you, brother, come over? What, you are doing child molestation now? Okay, let me call someone else. How in the world you can do that? So for a person who f millions follow his religion, there's no witnesses. And for fornication, we need four witnesses, and they have to see the penis in and out. This is why the easiest one to cheat with is a Muslim woman, because it's impossible for the husband to prove that she is a cheating, because simply he cannot prove it. He have to have four witnesses. There's a story, we, we paused the link before, if you remember. I don't know if the admins, they have it. When uh, 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 witnesses, they came to the caliphate and they saw, the first one he asked him, did you see the penis going in and out? He said, yes. Okay, the second one, did you see the penis in and out? He said, yes. The third one, he said, no, I did not see the penis going in and out, but I saw her legs around his neck and they were shaking like the ears of a donkey. I mean, the guy in the top of her and her legs is around his neck and they are naked. And then the caliphate, he started beating the hell of them because they did not, they were not able to prove or provide four witnesses who they saw the penis going in and out. But nobody saw Muhammad going with the angel in or out. So Shabir Ali is going to help us to understand why Muhammad is the last prophet. And right away, you know, when you ask Shabir Ali a question, Right away, he jumped to say, eh, 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 you know, this is like the introduction. It's like Al-Fatiha. Eh, 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 you know. I mean, the question you have it, it's your program, and the title is made by before you go live, and now you are, eh, eh, eh. okay. It looked like this is the ignition, you know, like you have to do the ignition thing. Uh, what proof do Muslims have that Muhammad was the final prophet? 
Mm. So it's an important <coughs> question because uh, the, the natural assumption among Muslims, uh, and this has been so for centuries, uh, is uh, that uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon Until now, he did not say anything. This is how you go, you know, this is how you squeeze a lawyer, a lawyer. I mean, what is the answer? That's a lot of. And then if you watch the video, you will see he said nothing. You know, the prophet, he said, the prophet, he said he is the last prophet. The prophet said. The question is, what is the proof that Muhammad is the last prophet? The, the answer is the prophet said. Be upon him is the last of uh, all of the prophets. He is the seal, final prophet, uh -huh. and uh, no other prophet will come after him. Uh -huh. And this has made it possible for Muslims to um, uh, think that anyone else who claims to be a prophet after the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, must be automatically false. So automatically. it uh, gives Muslims the great comfort uh, and assurance that we don't even have to bother about investigating yeah. the claims of somebody you don't else. Need to bother. Today, this is very helpful because there are prophets and messiahs all over the place <laughs> people are claiming to be uh, prophets and, like and Muhammad, messiahs. Yeah. Uh, now it, it became a discussion among Muslims especially uh, within the last uh, 100 years or so because uh, a, a man uh, arose in, in uh, Pakistan who did claim that he is some sort of a prophet and uh, 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 uh. see the guys the question is look at the title I mean the, the, you know the people who try to defend Muhammad they are suffering from low IQ where is the answer? What is the proof? Do Muslim have that Muhammad is the final prophet? This is what you like what you do when you go in the bathroom. You know, if you're a Middle Eastern, you have a child, you have a son or a daughter, you want to teach them how to do poo poo, you say to them, I mean, the title is so long, and we are waiting for the answer. And after he speaks for, you know, the whole video, he never say anything. Where's the answer? Uh, uh, ooh, uh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. And then we don't want to skip anything because he said nothing anyway. So let us move uh, like a, a minute in advance. You missed nothing, by the way. You can watch the video later. Be upon him is the last uh, of all of the prophets, and hence the question arises: Well, uh, how do you know that yeah. he's the last of all of the prophets? <laughs> how do you know? Well, hmm. uh, the the proof from the Quran is, uh, is. Have you ever heard the proof? How the proof come from where? From the Quran. Where the proof coming from? From the Quran. Christian Prince he wrote a book. And he claimed in his book that he is a prophet. A Christian prince, what is the proof that you are a prophet? It's in my book. <laughs> so the guy, he brought them a book, which is not even a book, saying that he is a lost prophet, and that is the proof that he is the lost prophet. I mean, do you see how deep is that? Who can beat this? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. How, how do you know that yeah. he's the last of all of the prophets? Well, uh, the the proof from the Quran is uh, is not absolutely certain, though for Muslim. Uh, so and look at this; it's not even certain. It's not certain. When did you hear this? The proof from the Quran; it's not certain. So why you call it proof? That is called the uh, Islamic science. Like when the Muslim, they say, you know, you remember Harun Yahya, the guy who have a lot of girls dancing around him, not like me. I mean, look who look who attend my my program, a bunch of dudes, you know, and the women who attend my program, they have guns. You know, just to refresh your memory, Harun Yahya is the one I mentioned his name in my book. He is the first one who start making those uh, claims about Quran and science, in case you do not know. And actually, I wanted to join his uh, show, but I wasn't lucky, you know? <laughs> I just opened YouTube. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't want to mention it anyway. Just wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Honestly, people are mental. Uh, Rune. <laughs> Okay, this is our friend, the one who, the only one who was able to bring a real proof that Muhammad is a prophet of God. The only one. Let us see. And I want to show you how powerful is his proofs. You know, it's not like those Muslims who shish kebab, they talk, they say nothing. Read approve, read, you know, uh, it's in, encouraging and it's amazing. Uh, let us see. <clears throat> oh. This is the this is the guy. His name is uh, Yusuf Estate. He he is he he said. Once I was going to do a lecturer, and I saw the book of this guy, Harun Yahya. I encountered the works of Harun Yahya. Yes. It was by a strange coincidence. Uh -huh. A very strange thing had happened. Hmm. Someone had given me this book that had the head or skeleton, a skull, on this book. Uh -huh. And I thought, this is a strange looking book. Strange. And I opened it and I began to read and I thought, oh my gosh, this is finally what we're getting, high class quality material for Dawah. Something I've been dreaming about ever since I made Shahada. <laughs> and now I'm going to show you the high class quality to do Dawah, which you will love. And you, many of you might convert to Islam immediately. This is the high quality the Dawah material. Huh. Now this is this one is too much. That that will destroy your morality. So I'm not going to play it. Uh, oh yeah, that is the real quality. Let me let me block the music so we don't get a strike from the Sharia too. The high quality, the high quality book written by Harun Yahya. Harun Yahya is a person who do live TV from Turkey to invite people to Islam, and he is the one who come with Quran and science. I want to show you the high quality. First of all, if you look with me, you will see how nice the legs. Look at this. Look how nice the sheikh. Can you do that? You cannot. This is a very high quality dawah. I'm not playing music because I don't want to drive or not. But here we see how Islamic TV stations work. And this is the guy, the Muslim, they use his book to invite you to convert to Islam. And this is why I feel always that I am really, really unlucky. I mean, look what they have and look what I have. Look at my admins. They scare the hell of me. This is a program. This is this is religion. This is this is really. I mean, I'm gonna go there, guys. Sorry, I'm going to buy a, a ticket and go to Turkey immediately, so I can shake, uh, you know, <clears throat> with Erdogan, you know. Yeah. So, <clears throat> what is that? Is that really even a dance? So the Muslims, you know, in order to more make Muhammad look like a prophet. They come with tons of lies, and their lies is beyond the stupidity. The only thing is not so stupid is this dance. Look at this. Is that a, is that a dance or this is a what? I think this is the gym. I'm not sure. Okay, I will stop here. <laughs> we go back to Shabir Ali, uh, Shabir uh, Ali, and uh, what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? The Quran said that Muhammad is a prophet, but this is not certain, and he's the last prophet, sorry, not the prophet. <laughs> Do 
Do we have any Muslim have any proof for us that Muhammad is a prophet? Do we have any Muslim here between the bushes? I mean, Islamic TV stations is really weird. One you will see his TV, you know, his program is about killing hamster and uh, killing, uh, 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 you know, lizard and killing dogs. And if a woman, she can put lips a stick, uh, you know, around their nipples. And the other one is doing uh, different. Every, every, every one of them have different way to invite you to Islam. Every one of them. Uh, and, you know, like killing the lizard as an example. It's a must because lizard is an insect first, according to Islam, and lizard is the enemy of Allah who was trying to burn Abraham. And you know, look at this lizard. I mean, this guy, you find him everywhere. And this is telling you, like, that Allah is not everywhere, but the lizard is everywhere. Which means lizard is more powerful than Allah. You ask the Muslim, is Allah in the bathroom? They will say, no. No. What would happen to Allah if he's a <laughs> he would get dirty? So the lizard, this is different the da'wah show. Ali, Shabir Ali have a da'wah show. This one here is a da'wah show. Adnan Oktar, Billy Bansin, you know, Hishik Hishik, is it, uh, all of them is da'wah show, da'wah which means to invite you to Islam. Is justifiable and it's a legitimate thing to do, likewise with the house lizards. Hmm. And there is a hadith yeah. in Sahih al-Bukhari, yeah. where the Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam, that when Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, mm -hmm. was thrown by his people in the blazing fire. Yeah. All the creatures of Allah used to try and put off the fire. Did he say all the creatures? Is that including pigs? And dogs? Cockroaches? Flies? Mosquitoes? I mean, bird, mice, all the creatures of Allah, all the creatures of Allah, they want to put the fire down. Look like all the creatures of Allah used to be firefighters and they work in the fire department. They have a good training. Except who? And put off the fire with the exception of the house lizard. Unbelievable. It used to try to blow so that the fire would grow. Mm. And this shows you that... Hey, no, this is showing me that Muhammad is a true prophet. I mean, as long as the story is coming from Muhammad about the lizard trying to burn Abraham by blowing air at Abraham, I mean, that's it. I'm truly, truly, truly convinced that Muhammad is a prophet now, and he is not only the prophet, he is the last prophet. And actually, there's many ways to convince me. If you could not convince me by evidence, you can make a show like this and get girls like those. I would be convinced immediately. Look at this. Look at my table and look at his table. Look how many iPad he have. I think all, even the iPad he have, they are females. Unbelievable. And yet they say to you that the Christians, those kuffar, the Christians, they don't believe that Muhammad is a prophet. I mean, if Muhammad isn't a prophet, how in the world he knew that in the time of Abraham, his people, they try to kill him by fire, and all creatures, they try to put the fire down, except Mr. Lizard. And here we need to ask ourselves, why lizard is so evil? We need to think about it. Any Muslim can tell us why lizard, who told the lizard to do so? Who told him? Uh, spin, his name is Spin, he is saying Christian is a lie. My friend, a spin is as long as Christian is a lie. Why are you a stupid prophet saying you are not? I mean, what's wrong with you, Muslims? You oppose your prophet, you are so good in breathing and singing, but your words is very silly and not convincing. Do you want to call me? Hmm?
Any Muhammadan? Why why the lizard he did this crime? And how Muhammad, who told the, who told Muhammad this information? It's not in the Quran. How Muhammad received his knowledge? Muslim, they will say, Allah sent him Quran. Okay, well, there's nowhere in the Quran speaking about Mr. Lizard. Peace be upon him. So where this information coming from? Anyone? I don't know if there is anyone. <sighs> hmm. Do we have any Abdul? Any Muslim would like to help us? Any Muhammadan? Ramadan is coming, my friend. Do you know how much blessing you will get if you call me? Think about the virgins are waiting for you. I assure you that those women who are dancing with Harun Yahya, none of them is virgins, for sure. But in the heavenly brother, the one they are waiting for you, they are way, way better. First, their breast is so big. According to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, each one of them, her ass is one mile. And you know, think about it. All of us, we like big screen TV. I mean, they can say no, they can say yes, they can, they can lie to you. But reality, all men, they like big screen TV. Muhammad, he thought about it. How I can make those men go and fight and die for my sake? So he promised them women, their ass is one mile. And you know, one mile ass, if you think about it, it's so small. We men, we like it better and bigger. What if I invite my friends for a barbecue, as an example, or hiking over the hill? And I have like thousands of friends. I have 83,000 subscribers in this account only. What if I invite them to hike over her ass? One mile will do nothing. Especially if she puts some lotion or oil and she is doing suntan and all those 83,000 try to hike. Man, the floor will be very slippery. So when a Muslim, he says to us that Muhammad is a prophet, Based on what? Based on the one mile ass? Or the endless penis? Or the lizard who tried to kill Abraham? Or the shaitan who piss in your uh, ears and sleep in your nose? Or Satan who jump inside your mouth when you do yawning? Is that what the proof you have for us that Muhammad is a prophet? Anyone? People of Indonesia, wake up, wake up. You see, it's morning for you, right? Wake up, Malaysia, Indonesia, whatever, Shisha. What's wrong with you? Drink coffee, so come on. I thought if I mentioned the one mile ass, all of you will wake up. I will scare the hell of you. Still, they are sleeping. Do we have any Mohammedan? Would like to call us? Anyone? So what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? Until now we have zero answer. All what the Muslim they do, funny, silly speeches, meanless talk, and the title is more strange than the answer. Uh, it is. Uh, it, it says uh, that the Prophet Muhammad is Khatam al and he is the seal of the prophets. And for Muslims, that means that, okay, that's it, he's the seal. It's like the last thing that goes on the envelope. Uh, the last thing goes in the envelope. Who said that? The Quran. And who's, who brought the Quran, Muhammad? Have you ever heard of somebody? 
provide evidence made by his hand? This is the proof that Muhammad is Allah's prophet? Muhammad said? Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Who is a Muhammadan? We, we heard nothing, we saw nothing. I see no proof, I see nothing except stupidity. Who wanna help us? Huh? We can help you to convert to Islam if you wish. Look at this. Actually, if you look in this video, you will notice many things. Here you see how much they love their country. See the flag? Turkish flag, Alhamdulillah. Here you see the eyes going down to her, to her uh, ass. Look at the eyes. Here, he loved the flag and he loved her ass, mashallah. Here, the iPad is full of Quran, alhamdulillah. This iPad here is full of hadith, mashallah. This girl here, she has 10 plastic surgery to make her boobs big. Allahu Akbar. And all of this program is to make us believe that Islam is from God, and Muhammad is a prophet, and he is the last, the last prophet. And who in the world can refuse such a proof and reference? Just think about it. Any Muhammadan? I mean, how in the world I'm asking Muhammadan to call me right now, and I have this picture in the screen. Let me change it. They will never call in this case. Strong with you know, do you think really they will call you and you you have this? They are searching for the video right now. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us and tell us how Muhammad become a prophet? Anyone? Muhammad he was a pagan. He was from Quraysh, and Quraysh, they are pagan people, and you do not know who is Jibreel. So how Jibreel come to Muhammad, and how Muhammad was, how they met, I mean, how, what the coincidence happened here? So Muhammad was in the cave, a guy come to the cave, and he told Muhammad, read. Muhammad told him, I cannot read. The guy, he squeezed him. Anybody can at least explain to us the stupidity of the story, why he squeezed him? Why he told him read and when the guy do not know how to read?